Good afternoon and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. So I've got my growing operation all set up here and ready to go for the winter and I just thought today I would do a walk through and show you how my setup is here. Just taking a corner of my basement that um, is normally pretty empty. All my children have left home so nobody is down here much so I've taken a corner and created this growing space. So this table here is set up for doing my video wings, which I will be doing a series of videos on indoor growing and using the Crack Key hydroponics, hydroponics method. So I'm just getting ready to do some filming here. Uh, over here I just brought in my worms that have been living outside all summer. This is my Verma composting bin. I just harvested some of the castings and cut a fresh batch of bedding and just fed them some strawberries and bananas and just feasting away. I'll just zoom in for you. So I will be feeding my kitchen scraps to these little guys all winter and harvesting the castings whenever I can. If anybody wants to learn more about vermicomposting I recommend you check out Marcia's channel White Davy uh, Gardening and Worm Farming. I'll list their name below but she is an expert on vermicomposting and has some great videos on how to do that. So I would recommend checking her out. So I've just gathered up different pieces of furniture in my house and created spaces that I can store things. I have an east facing window here that works great for plants, uh, especially in the spring when I start doing my seedlings. I can use this space to, uh, to get a lot of sunlight during the day. Um, I have my mesh herb dryer here that I was using outside and I did a, a review video on it earlier this summer. So I have some herbs in here drying right now and we'll use it throughout the winter to continue drying herbs if I have too many to keep up with fresh. So this is my little grow light area that has worked really well for me. I set it up last winter, or last, yeah, last winter. This shelving unit was just a, um, a piece that I picked up from Canadian Tire on sale. So it's got the four levels. The lights I've been using are just LED shop lights that um, were about, I think, under $30 a piece. So I've invested in four of them now. And I think I got those at Canadian Tire as well. These lights came from Amazon and they worked well. And I recommend that you would make sure you have a timer and a power bar to plug in all these things. And these shelves work good because they're easy to adjust. I got chains here with some little S hooks. So you can uh, adjust it so the lights are nice and close to your plants when they're just tiny seedlings. And then as they grow, you can raise them up. And so right now I'm working with four spaces here. And now I recently made a purchase of another light that I think will be good to have because it's movable. I can set it up anywhere. It's got this clamp purchased from Amazon. And here are some of my seedlings that I've got started and need to get moved into my hydroponic setups. Um, so I'll be doing some videos. I'm going to get herbs, lettuces, and I see that my paprika peppers have sprouted. I've had a hard time getting these going last spring or outside, so I'm hoping I can have success indoors. And then over here I have started a couple tomatoes that I'm going to see if they will grow in this arrow garden. I'm not sure how big they're going to be, but that's five days in. I just planted these seeds five days ago. So 
So I'm going to try Aroma, and this is called a Russian Saskatchewan. They're both determinate plants that I'm hoping won't get too huge, and I can fit them under this, under these grow lights, and uh, see how it goes. So this again is just a card table that I found in the basement. I've got all my watering jugs, a brush and a dustpan is a must to clean up all the dirt or leaves that you may have going when you're doing stuff. Um, so that's pretty much the tour of my little indoor growing space. Um, I'm very happy with what I have going here and lucky to have a nice spot down in the basement. We have floor heat and nice big window so it's quite enjoyable spending winter days down here. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my indoor growing space. I would love to hear your comments below and if you have one set up yourself I would love to hear about it as well. And I hope that uh, if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about indoor growing using the Kratky hydroponic method, please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos.